Yanashka, the quality people for individual pre-press solutions. The following sequences briefly go into the production workflow of a rotogravure printing or embossing form, including the various technologies applied, like electromechanical engraving, direct laser engraving, etching, and embossing. Each rotogravure cylinder is built on a cylinder base. Conventional bases are made of steel. However, the market's need is prompting Yanashka to make continuous developments in the areas of lighter weight and other innovative solutions offering easier handling as well as time and cost savings. The steel base is coated with copper by means of electroplating. The copper layer is either the material to be engraved, etched or embossed, or the basis for further coatings. Grinding or cutting to size and polishing are done according to detailed customer specifications with a view to further processing. Rotogravure printing is based on one printing form per color. Hence, a design buildup in four colors, for example, requires four rotogravure printing cylinders. Moreover, brand or product-specific packaging details, like the logo, may be highlighted by the application of any spot color. Higher quality and added value are ensured. Electromechanical engraving is one of the conventional engraving technologies. With its reliable and high quality results, it belongs to the well-established engraving techniques in the market. Electromechanical engraving technology ensures high quality print results on most substrates. Driven by electromechanical pulses, the diamond stylus engraves the so-called cells into the copper surface. The size and depth of these cells define the ink volume to be transferred on to the printing material during the print run, and consequently the color density on the printing substrate. All engraved cells reproduce the full packaging motif to be printed later on. Laser engraving is ideal for the reproduction of soft vignettes and small fonts on substrates such as aluminum. The direct laser technology belongs to the younger engraving techniques launched on the market in the beginning of the 1990s. This technique requires a zinc layer that is applied on top of the copper coating by means of an electroplating process. The basic difference in respect to material is the zinc's surface properties. The direct laser system uses a laser beam to create the image onto the zinc surface without actually touching the cylinder. Variety in depth and shape of the cells offers the perfect range of reproduction options for all kinds of motifs and their specific details. The excellent quality of the direct laser is evident by the contour sharpness, the high resolution image reproduction and perfect halftones. 
Line and text elements are characterized by optimal acuity and perfect solid tones. The etching technology is known as the first illustration technique for rotary rotogravure printing. This conventional technology is characterized by its very high engraving resolution, which makes it ideal for the highly demanding requirements of security printing. Before starting the laser process, an etching resist is coated onto the whole copper cylinder. This layer protects the cylinder against the ferric chloride during the etching. Its thickness may vary from 3 microns to 5 microns, depending on the requested etching depth. The laser process reproduces the design onto the etching resist by removing it. The copper remains unaffected by this production step. Etching is a chemical process. The cells are etched onto the copper layer by means of an etching solution, which is the ferric chloride. This is exclusively possible on those spots where the etching resist was already removed by the laser processing. The etching technology ensures exact edges for the smallest fonts, lines and symbols. The etching resist is completely removed before the last production step, the chrome plating. The embossing technology produces a three-dimensional tactile feature to the finished product. Embossing rollers are an essential part of Yanashka's product range. The embossing technology is highly appreciated for its wide range of applications in print finishing. This proven high quality and extensive value-adding character make this embossing feature almost a must for today's tobacco and other demanding cardboard packaging. The embossing design is milled out of the copper surface by means of a milling head. Hand in hand with the customer, Yanashka's intensive new product development services provide outstanding and impressive options for the print finishing. Usually, two embossing rollers, called the female and male mold, are necessary to emboss the design. The required accuracy of the embossing rollers is finally checked and confirmed by embossing the cylinders onto the original substrate. The pre-final step within the production workflow for all rotogravure cylinders is the chrome plating. Comparable to copper and zinc, the chrome layer is again built up by an electroplating process. The chrome layer protects the copper and engraving from tarnishing and wear. The cylinder polishing, according to customer specifications, is the tail end of the cylinder production. Committed to supply best and reliable quality, each cylinder finally passes the proof print department. According to customer demands, the manufactured cylinders are printed with customer's ink and substrate to monitor the accuracy of the engraved design and its printing behavior. Despite manufacturing precision, the final quality control is left for skilled experts comparing customer's target with the produced result.
absolute conformity is a must before the cylinders are released for dispatch. Standardized production technologies and consistent quality standards over the entire Yanashka Global Network allow at any time the exchange of capacity and hence shorter lead times. Yanashka, the quality people for individual pre-press solutions.